According to Interpol, thieves steal as much as 30 to 50% of the world's water supply annually. As the scarcity of our most precious resource increases, so too do the drivers for stealing it. With most water dedicated to agriculture, stealing water is like taking cattle from your neighbour, water from our households and valuable resources from the environment. So to improve water protection, an international team of researchers, led by the University of Adelaide, have carefully examined what drives water theft, including social attitudes, institutions and future supply uncertainty. They built a novel framework to better understand theft deterrence and a model to capture drivers of theft, allowing them to test changes to detection, prosecution and conviction systems. With these tools, regulators can accurately measure the effectiveness of current penalties and make changes accordingly. But do these tools work? The researchers have applied the framework and model to three real-world case studies in Spain, the US and Australia. The model provides evidence that where institutions fail to support detection and prosecution, theft will increase. For Spain, this meant regulators were assaulted. In the US, marijuana growers stole water from fire hydrants. And in Australia, the nation suffered as its environmental water was pilfered. Importantly, tackling water theft via this approach may enable managers to save more water than efficiency measures, which typically recover about 10 to 20%. This would be good for our water supply and good for us. Follow the link to read the paper and check out an article with further information on the research team.